Shalom friends. So today we are going to discuss about uh, external mail forwarding in Microsoft 365. So as you can see in my lab, I have a tenant here and I have an email address, a consumer Gmail address, with, which is bunny01.bunny01 at gmail.com. And I have, this is my tenant, I have two users. By default, Microsoft does not allow external mail forwarding. That is something that you need to note. Let's say, for example, I configure a user within my organization with a mail forwarding to an external email address. Users will receive an NDR message telling them that the organization does not allow external email forwarding. We will see that in a few. So let me show you how you configure a mail forwarding within Microsoft 365 for a specific user. So the way you do that, first you need to be logged in as the global administrator for your tenant. And then you need to go to active users, under users, active users, and then select the user whom you want to configure mail forwarding. For my case, that is the user. On the flyout, select mail. And then you scroll down. Under email forwarding, select manage email forwarding. For your case, it will look like this. So to enable, you need to check that box and then you key in the email address that you want mails to be uh, forwarded to. You can as well choose to keep a copy of emails to this mailbox if you like by just checking or unchecking that checkbox. Then you save the changes. So. I just need first to show you the kind of an error or, or an NDR that the, this recipient, that is bunny at bunnyholdings.microsoft.com account will receive when we try to send an email. Uh, this is bunny02.bunny02 at gmail.com, it's a consumer email. I created this email basically just to show you how this thing works. So let me copy the email for that account. That for that Microsoft 365 account. For subject, just give it testing v9. V for version. I had done a couple of testing before and then I send the mail. Just go to Microsoft 365 account. As you can see, I've received an email and it's a mail bounce back NDR. Delivery has failed to this recipient or groups. And as you can see, we have a message there. Your message wasn't delivered because the recipient's email provider rejected it. So Microsoft 365 is rejecting our mail. And if you scroll down, you'll also have another message here. There is another message here that you can read from. You can see access denied. Your organization does not allow external forwarding. So we already know now what's the cause of this error, the root cause of this NDR that's what we're going to configure so that we can allow uh, mail forwarding for our tenant. So the tool that we're going to use to allow uh, external mail forwarding is security and compliance center. So back to your admin portal, scroll down under all admins, select security. So scroll down under threat management, Select policy and then under policies you need to select anti spam. So as you can see there we have three policies. So by default Microsoft creates anti spam policies whenever we provision when we provision a Microsoft 365 tenant. So these were created by Microsoft. The policy that we need is the unspam outbound policies. This is the policy that we need to edit so that we may allow external mail forwarding. When you edit the default unspam outbound policy, the changes will affect the entire tenant, including the domains within your organization. Okay, for some organization may prefer to edit the unspam outbound policy that affects the entire tenant that is for all users. Others may choose to create a custom policy that will only affect specific user groups or a domain. We'll see how that works later. 
So by default, as you can see, uh, under forwarding roles, the default setting is set to automatic system control. So what, that, what this does is that it only allows mail forwarding for the same domain within the tenant. So internal mail forwarding will work, but for external domains, it won't work or external users. Uh, what you need to do is that just select the drop down menu and choose on forwarding is enabled and then you save the changes you can close the flyout and then now we are going to test an email now we are going to send an e another test email from the external user the gmail account to our office 365 uh, user to see if the mail forwarding will work so i'll just go here and compose a new message subject I'll call it testing v10 testing v10 and then send let's switch back to office 365 and we check the mailbox for that user this outlook on web see we receive and as you can see, that is the mail. We have received an email testing V10. The mail has arrived internal. So this is the disclaimer that I configured before. So we have the mail. And as you can see, it's from bunny02.bunny02 at gmail.com. Let's go now to the Gmail account that we had configured to be forwarded mails to. And as you can see, we have a mail testing v10 the source uh, that is bunny02 dot bunny02 at gmail.com came from bunny holdings dot microsoft so this is the account that forwarded the email to us that's how mail forwarding will work but now remember we have uh, edited the default policy that affects the entire tenant let's say for example if you want to create a policy that will only affect a certain user a group or a domain within your organization so we'll just go ahead and edit this set the default outbound policy and set it back to the original setting which is the automatic system control and you save you close that we're going to create a new policy here and type is outbound i'm going to give it a name custom outbound policy custom outbound mail forward policy you can give it the name that you prefer doesn't matter just copy the same name and add it to the description click next for the user now this is the specific user whom I want uh, external mail forwarding to be enabled I'll just paste that let me just paste the email address for that user is the email go back there and under user i can add now the email and as you can see that's the account i can select it so for group as well you can add a group that you want to be affected by external mail forwarding in your organization if you have more than one domain and there is a specific domain that you want to have external mail forwarded uh, configured, you can add that domain here as well. So I'll just go next. And then you scroll down and under forwarding rules, where we have automatic forwarding rules, you need to change it from automatic system control to on forwarding is enabled. And then click next. And then you create the policy click done so as you can see it's at the top of all the policies and the priority is zero so this is highly prioritized this will take effect first and then it will come to the others let's send another test message to see if the custom policy that you have configured it will work same email address to bunny holding so to microsoft this is testing v11 now 
testing 11 send the email let's switch back to Microsoft 365 and wait for the email from Outlook on web and guys as you can see the mail has arrived and when you go to the mail that we had configured to be forwarded mails to inbox we have the mail here and if you drill down here you can see it's from o2 bunny o2 dot bunny o2 at gmail.com and the mail that has forwarded to us is the bunny holdings dot microsoft.com so as you can see now it's working and yeah that is how easy you can configure external mail forwarding for your Microsoft 365 tenant. If you found this video useful, you can do leave a thumbs up and comment below for any queries. Shalom. Bye bye.